Hi boys and girls, this is Mr. Wassman, and today we are looking at Homelinks 2.8, Multiplicative Comparisons. Now you might be asking yourself, what in the world does the word multiplicative mean? Well, as you can probably guess, based on the way the word is built, it has something to do with multiplication, because it's got the word multiply baked right in, and that's what it is. We're going to use our understanding of multiplication to solve some problems. So it says complete the problems below, write an equation with a letter for the unknown and solve. What number is seven times as much as nine? Okay, the word times right there is a dead giveaway. It says, hey kids, multiply. So what's my multiplication equation? Well, it's just seven times nine. But you probably already guessed that. So now I have to give an unknown. Okay, when I have an equation with an unknown, we're delving into the realm of algebra. Okay, so we'll just use the letter U for the unknown. Now then, what is 7 times 9? Well, if you know your multiplication tables, then you know that 7 times 9 is going to give you 63 as an answer, as your product. So... That's all we're doing here. We are uh, taking a multiplication problem out of the number story that's presented to us, and uh, we're just solving it. Okay, so let's take a look at number three. It says 32 is four times as much as what number? Well, this, again, is just another problem that has multiplication at the heart of it because, again, it shows us the word times in the number story. But this is a little different. 32 is 4 times as much as what number? So if I were to write this out, I could write it like this. 32 equals 4 times something. Or I could write it as 4 times something equals 32. When you have a multiplication problem with a missing factor... What you're really getting is a division problem, but we won't talk about that quite yet because we haven't gotten to division this year, have we? So let's think about our multiples. If I were to skip count by 4, how long would it take me to get to 32? Well, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32. Oh, I counted 8 groups of 4 right there. So my missing number is 8. So my missing factor is 8. So hey, you just learned that 32 divided by 4 is 8. So maybe we do know a little bit about division after all. So that's what we're doing here. We are using multiplication to help us solve some problems. It's just spelled out uh, a little wordy, but basically you just need to go with your gut. The problems are called multiplicative, so you got to use your knowledge of multiplication. Okay? Now, finally, down at the bottom, we have some practice problems, um, subtraction, and these touch upon things that we did in Unit 1, so let's try one. I'm going to do uh, number 5, 7,482 minus 7,083. Now, this one seems pretty easy, especially when you look at it uh, from side to side, uh, but watch what happens when I rewrite it vertically up and down. We get into a little bit of a mess right here just because 3, the digit 3 in the 1's place value of 7,083 is one more than the 2 in the 1's place value in 7,482. And it creates a bit of a domino effect because I have to borrow a 10. But the problem is if I borrow a 10 from this 8 at the top right here, uh, then I don't have enough to subtract the 8 from the bottom. So I have to go all the way over here to my hundreds and break that hundred up into th three hundreds and ten tens, making my eight tens, eighteen tens, and then again making my eighteen tens, seventeen tens, so I can lend ten ones to the two and make it twelve. So what I've done here is I have transformed uh, 7,482 into 7,300. 
17 tens, or 170, and 12 ones. Now again, if I add those four numbers together, I get my original number of 7,482. So all I've done is convert it into a more uh, handy uh, version that allows me to subtract. Okay. So 12 minus 3 gives me 9. 17 minus 8 also gives me 9. 3 minus 0 is 3. And 7 minus 7 is nothing. So my difference is just 399. Now again, if I wasn't sure if that was true, what I could do is just turn that problem around into an addition problem. I would take this bottom number here, 7,083, add it to 399, and see if I get my original number. Well, 3 plus 9 is 12. I'll carry that. 1. 1 plus 8 is 9. 9 plus 9 is 18. And we're looking pretty good right here. Yep, it works. Okay. So give these problems a go. Practice, practice, practice. That's what makes you better at anything. If you have questions or problems, uh, please reach out to your math teacher. Otherwise, we will talk again soon. Thanks.